Right, my first uh, video is going to be on um, the tools I use, the main tools I use, and um, what you need basically. Um, let's have a little look, shall we? Right. Um, let's have a look. So we've got a little boat level. It's for um, doing your soldiers, uh, setting out your first course. Um, that's about it really, that's what I really use it for anyway. Um, what else we got? These set of lines here are probably the best lines I've come across. Um, especially for your brickwork. Nice and thin. Um, nice and thin. Strong, lightweight, thin. Um, very stretchy as well. So if I could recommend any sets of lot set of lines for your brickwork, um, it would be the ox, ox lines. There you go. That's them there. These about these are about a month old now. Um, still going strong. If I if I get if I get a snap in the line or a um, little knot or something, I will just literally cut it out and just rewrap it on there. Just so I don't, I, you shouldn't have a um, bumblebee in the line or a, or a tie in the line. It's not good to run to, especially when it's catching. I use these for block work. Insulation knife. It's getting a bit blunt now, but it was the bollocks when I had it for a little while. Then my um, hog carrier decided to start trying to cut some plastic with it. Oh, my trails. That was a 10 inch, and that's my new 10 inch. If, uh, if you're just starting off, honestly, I'd recommend just getting a 10 inch. I used when I first started with my boss, um, he started me on a 12 inch trowel, it was like a fucking shovel. Um, and after about three years of smashing loads of work in, my wrist was starting to hurt already. Um, but uh, yeah, any young lads out there, I'd recommend 10 inch trowel. You don't need a 12 inch trowel, maybe 11, but I, I still wouldn't even go for 11 anymore. There you go. Um, the trials. Uh, block work brush. I use that for me block work. Uh, we've got these. This type of corner block here. Um, these. Are, I use these ones for um, if I'm pulling off of a built corner because um, I don't know if you can see that. But it actually brings the uh, the set of lines cut the middle away from the wall when you put it on, which I find quite useful. Uh, and I use these ones for if I'm pulling off of a profile. Um, but yeah, and I've got a few of these because uh, the lads tend to nick them. <laughs> got two cut down ones here um, in case I set the profile up the wrong way and the. Uh, the actual corner block is covering the profile mark. Um, just let you see that pro that little mark, uh, the little profile mark still. Pencil. Every bricklayer should have a pencil. No bricklayer ever does though. Got a Dutch pin. That's um, for your for your box section profiles against solid walls. Uh, you want one at the top, one at the bottom. Sort of clamps onto your profile like that. And uh, yeah, I don't really keep my, well, this should be in my profile bucket, but I don't know what it's doing in my box. Block saw, uh, it's for cutting firm light blocks. Very good for um, the gable ends. Um, and cutting around your trusses. There is a knack to it. Um, a lot of people don't know how to do it, so if I get a gable, I'll uh, show you how to cut around the trusses properly.
It's um, my little holster for me, uh, for me hammer and me tape. Because uh, if I don't wear it, I put my hammer down and I'm looking for it every other five minutes. So I save a lot of time wearing this. Time is money. <laughs> um, these should be in my profile bucket as well. This is a um, Blake setting out profile, setting up profile. Um, you just hook it over the top. It sit, at this point, sits on your brickwork and sort of locks into your profile. Um, I'm going to make a video on how to set up a Blake profile, uh, in depth one. I haven't really seen any on there on YouTube yet. And these are just um, stabilizers. Um, once you get to about six courses up, you'll put this on to your profile, um, adjust these if they need adjusting, just to bring it out where the line's tight, it'll be pulling on the profile that we'll want to pull it over. So these are just to stabilize it, hence called being stabilizers. Um, don't really use this. Uh, it's more. It's, if you get on a gable and uh, you need to cut some batten and bang, cut the nails in to pull off a line. But the, the gables we're building at the minute, you don't ever need it. So I've already got all my um, L brackets made up for my profiles as well. So I don't really use it. Screwdriver. That's for the. Um, Profile. Uh, we've got a chariot for raking mortar joints out. Um, I use this just to tighten and loosen it. But I put a screwdriver in it because it's 10 mil. But that was a bad idea because it never fits in any perps. plug and chisel um, we, it's just for taking out perp joints for your uh, for your profiles comes in handy as uh, that's, that's for concrete blocks 100 mil bolster I use this for brickwork for cutting me 100 mil halves and that and uh, I like to use this for uh, for me for my brickwork. Uh, sorry, a 75 mil bolster. Tapes, we've got a little three meter tape here. It's for um, marking blocks and bricks and cutting. You don't need to carry a big chunky tape on you all the time. Ten meter for setting out, eight meter for setting out as well, depending on how big the wall is. Oh, holding away. Little Stanley blade. <laughs> Got to have a Stanley blade. Nice sharp Stanley blade in there. As soon as it gets blunt, turn it over, get a new one. just for old time's sake really. I actually use um, one of them Amtex uh, barrel jointers. Uh, I, I much prefer them to be fair. But like I say, I just bought these for old time's sake really. Uh, I don't actually know where my Amtex jointer has gone. Uh, I bought my tools home to show everyone and for some reason it ain't in my box. So, but yeah, you need, you need your jointers as well. That's uh, me S-Ring Chip and hammer, my favourite tools. You've got your S-ring lump hammer. Um, 
can't remember how much that well my I think that's a two and a half pound two and a half pound one and a half pound can't remember uh, we've got a point trail for flaunching that's all I really use it for to be fair flaunching and cleaning my trail up in the morning uh, wire brush for cleaning my trail in the morning got an F clamp here, it's for um, clamping your, your box section to your wall, um, I've got about 15 of these, I don't know why this is in my box but it is, uh, we've got a scaffold spanner, um, it comes in handy more often than not. Actually know what that is it's for taking bits it's taking for taking nails out of wood but <laughs> I found it and uh, I've never actually used it yet you've got your bevel so you're getting your cuts on your arches that's all I that's all I really use it for anyway and we've got a sponge um, I use a sponge for um, brushing my brickwork with I find it a lot better does a lot nicer job um, you can get away with um, if your brickwork's still a little bit too wet with your brush you can always you can get away with it with your, with your sponge it also tidies up the brickwork a little bit as well uh, we've got the two foot Stabilo level with the red handles. I much prefer the handles to to the solid version. And we've got the four foot with the red handles again. Much prefer it. And it's not essential. Well, it is essential. Very essential. Got my radio. Don't go to work without a radio. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all my my standard sort of tools that I use on a weekly basis. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video.